everyone welcome back and i hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and in this video we are going to discuss everything about physics and how to score 160 plus in neat physics before that i have created a playlist for neat preparation strategy you can definitely check it out the playlist and for now let's begin with this video physics is an inherently difficult for bio students as bio students do not have a background in mathematics however to score better in physics you should go through the ncrt's theory as well as the problems now I know this sounds very easy but in reality this is way more tough because I remember during my preparation I used to get stuck on this one question and just because my basic mathematics was not clear I wasn't able to solve questions although I knew the concepts the formulas the theory still lack of practice and not focusing on basic mathematics can create a lot of problems so the first thing is clear your basic mathematics now what is this basic mathematics and why you need to know maths and physics physics well you don't have to read the entire syllabus of mathematics for physics but because physics and maths go hand in hand therefore it's crucial to have good grip on basic maths now some basic mathematics which you have to learn before starting physics are first of all calculus some basics in differentiation and integration and these are something which is almost used in all the chapters of physics and then learn some basics about graph which will help you in motion chapter basic trigonometry is very essential for physics and vectors is a whole topic itself and this chapter is actually a part of both physics and mathematics syllabus also learn a little bit about algebra a lot of time you do encounter this in quadratic equations so these concepts are very important to understand the concepts of solving problems in physics so this is the first thing that you have to keep in your mind that your basic mathematics should be crystal clear before you start anything in physics now the second thing is read ncrt for solid foundation of concepts concepts and practice questions regularly. No, I'm not telling you to learn every lines of NCRT for physics because physics is a subject which need lots of practice and understanding of concepts, not learning of concepts. Yes, you have to learn formulas and derivation, but not the concepts. So to understand the concepts, you can take help of your teacher or there are free video lectures are available online. You can learn from them. But never try to understand the concepts by your own. If you think that you will read the topic and understand it by your own, then this will never going to help you. Instead, you will end up with demotivation and stress of not being able to understand the questions and the concepts. So take right guidance or you can attend those free online classes, learn the concepts properly and then move to the next step. Once you understand the concepts, now it's time to practice questions. Physics can only be understood through practicing questions. During my first attempt, I used to complain that I know the concepts, I know the formulas, theories, still why I'm not being able to solve physics. And then later in my drop year, I understood this thing that because I was constantly reading everything, but I was not practicing the questions enough. So practicing question in physics is mandatory because rarely questions are repeated in NEAT. And if you didn't solve any new question, then it will take you more time in solving questions in exam. And you guys know how much time management is important in NEAT. Now the thing is from where to practice these questions so you can use this book neat ug mock test 15 sample question papers from oswal books and in this book you will get all three subjects sample question paper first of all you will get this trend analysis and this will help you to know how many questions are asked from a particular chapter and which chapter is more important next you will get this neat 2022 and 2021 solved papers with omr sheet and answers with explanation these mind maps of each chapter in each subject are a single snapshot of the entire syllabus and these will help you in quick revision and grade for longer retention. These mnemonics will help you to boost up your memory and confidence and then you'll get these fully solved 15 sample question papers as per the latest pattern of 2023 for physics, chemistry and bio along with OMR sheets and answer keys. Also these QR codes will help you to elaborate solution. You'll get the detailed explanation of each questions and they have also given this tips to crack neat. So I will definitely suggest you guys to try this book as this book is affordable plus it has all the contents this book have questions not only in physics but for chemistry and bio as well so this book will definitely going to help you the link of this book is given below in description make sure to check it out now the next thing is important topics and chapters well almost every chapter is important but there are few chapters which you should study with focus and these are most important topics like unit and measurement four questions are asked in 2020 
2020 and three questions are asked in 2021 and 2022 from this chapter. Next is kinematics. Four questions are asked in 2012 and 13 and three three questions in 2019, 2021 and 2022. Next chapter is system of particles and rotational motion, properties of bulk matter, thermodynamics, electrostatics, current electricity, ray optics, dual nature, atoms and nuclei and lastly electronic devices. So try to focus more on these chapters because these are important and the scoring ones and lastly focus on formula learning and derivations do not simply mug up the formulas but try to use them to solve numericals once you will start solving questions you will understand how to use a particular formula and where to use it and you should also know how to derive formulas because there are certain formulas which you have to derive from basic formulas so just learn only the basic formulas and then you can derive the other formulas as per the requirement of the question also I would suggest you to write all the formulas in a sheet and stick it on your wall and keep reading them every day so this will also help you to memorize the formulas and don't forget whenever you learn any solved problems or derivations never mug up any step but understand every step you must understand what is the significance of this step how can I apply them how can I apply them on other problems what principle are they based on and how do they fit in with what I already know you must analyze each and every step of what Whatever you learn. When you learn anything in physics, you must ensure you learn the basic law, formula, derivation, constraints, how to use integration when constraints is broken, application and non-application and understand each and every step. All these points are combinedly called concepts of physics. So that's it for today. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any video suggestion or if you want to ask anything, comment down below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all on my next video. Till then bye bye and stay safe